In December of 1968, almost two full decades after the FBI's most wanted list creation, Ruth Eisman Shear became the first woman to appear on it. The crime? She and her boyfriend Gary Stephen Christ kidnapped a young woman named Barbara Mackle and buried her alive after demanding a half-million-dollar ransom. Hard to believe, but the story actually had a happy ending. Well, as happy an ending as a story like this can have. Eisman Shear and Christ kept Mackle alive inside her coffin via a breathing tube, and she was safely rescued after several days below the earth. Eisman Shear spent three months on the land before being caught and sent to jail. After serving four years in prison, she was deported to her native Honduras.